Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jordan Firstman coming to you live from crater THX 927R on the Earth's moon. On behalf of the entire Intergalactic Olympic Committee, I'd like to welcome you from wherever you are in the galaxy to the 2132 Games. Quite a lot has gone into the preparation for these first lunar games. We have been given unprecedented access to the 21st century core digital archive to recreate the Los Angeles Coliseum. And thanks to the skillful design of the IOC's core of space engineers, instead of a cold black void, we'll be watching the games amidst the blue sky, sun, and palm trees of 20th century Los Angeles. So again, welcome to the 2132 ceremonies from wherever you're tuning in from, whether it be miles above the Earth's surface in New Paris, <laughs> I'm not good at accents, or the ice cold surface of Jupiter. Now let's throw it over to our infield correspondent for a look at what's going on in the stadium. Grace, how does it look from your vantage point? I hear many are calling it the event of the 22nd century. That's right, Jordan. Some might call it even the most amazing event of the millennium. The setting is incredible, and even more, the energy from the crowd is insane. That sounds amazing, Grace. Amazing Grace. <laughs> How sweet the sound. We'll check in with you again a little later, as I'm told the athletes are about to make their way into the stadium. As the athletes enter, let's introduce you to sprinter and gold medal favorite Kendall Baisden, who's leading the track and field team. A world-class junior champion, Kendall specializes in the 400-meter dash. And let me tell you, she is one lightning-fast sprinter no matter how little gravity is on offer. One note of interest, all the athletes today are dressed in uniforms made by Earth-based designer Tom Brown. And due to the powerful rays of sun up here, every athlete will also be wearing reflective solar grade eyewear. What a wonderful sight to behold, the tradition of these ceremonies. Oh, here comes another one of the game's favorites, fencing champ Race Imboden, a left-handed foil fencer who's brought home two team silver medals at the World Fencing Championships. What? Two? Come on. It has been a long time in the making for these athletes. Precision, focus, confidence. Wish I had it. <laughs> Strength uh, as individuals. Strength as truly a team. And you can really see the pride on hand as they make their way through the procession. What does it look like from your vantage point, Grace? It's hard to put into words, Jordan. Everyone's so excited to be here. You can't describe the energy. Especially around the much anticipated diving team led by Steele Johnson. Johnson already won a silver medal, diving from the 10 meter synchronized platform. And this year, he said he's intent on bringing home the gold. It was a bumpy road early on in his space training. At first, he was having trouble making it from the diving board to the pool. But after a few experiments with some lead-weighted vests, this Indianapolis native and Purdue alum won NCAA titles on both springboard and platform in the same year. Can you say bouncy? Who could believe that we're actually 239,000 miles removed from Earth right now? I can't believe it. Here comes the swimming team. Certainly a lot of expectations resting on their broad shoulders. <laughs> That's a joke I'm proud of. It 
it will be interesting to watch how the fencing competition unfolds, as solid hilts often can lead to the opponent literally flying away into the sky. It's a sight to be seen. I'm told, however, that many of the athletes are adding Velcro to the bottom of their shoes. Boy, can you just look at this Coliseum for a second? I mean, can you believe it? A complete lunar recreation of this favorite old Earth stadium. The peristyle, the arches, the grand stairs. Looking into the stands, you can see how fans have come from all over the galaxy wearing their favorite styles from back home to cheer on their favorite athletes. The airship SS Hector is now hovering in. The SS Hector has indeed arrived. Look at that. An icon of 22nd century sporting events, the Hector made the journey all the way from Earth with two specially designed rocket boosters hidden in its back legs. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the twin torch bearers. These two, as you probably know, are galactically renowned as the fastest tandem bicycle team in the history of the Olympic Games. It's a big deal. They've been invited here today to light the torch that will officially kick off the 2132 Games. I'll be the first to say it, the flame is just simply lit. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And let the games begin.